Greetings, folks. And in today's segment of showcasing and speculation, I will be discussing Monstrous by Marjorie Liu and Sana Takeda. If you've been watching the other videos, you'll notice I've been kind of hinting at it, like subtle, like something juicy and good was on was coming this way. And I say that this is the juicy one. The art, the cover is so good. Like, and, and, and when I flip through the books, the art inside the, in the, the cover is just as good and congruent as the cover. Like, Sana Takeda, I'm not explain this, but if there's anything that that's close to being, you know, congruent and consistent from without and within, con and consistent, yeah, this that's her. The book in inside and the book outside all match. So I was very fortunate that I was able to get a CBCS copy signed by both Marjorie and Sana for the price of what it would cost for a CGC blue label. I don't know about y'all, but y'all are missing out. Well, you know what? Fine. Keep. I'm, I, I don't mind because I don't. I don't mind paying lower for the same quality of grading and probably an actual better holder because my some of my stuff got, got wrecked under C, inside CGC. Um, I'd feel safer under truly under CBCS slabs. I, I have yet to have a slab that was messed where they where the book got wrecked inside by their slab. Yeah. So in this yeah this situation, look what we got here. First appearance of Micah, Tuya, Kippa, and Ren. Yeah. This is a fat book. I think I showcased this earlier in the CBCS uh, uh, video about the evolution of the label. This was my only yellow label that I was willing to showcase at the time. Plus, low key, you know, flex. You know, they got that weird flex, <laughs> as they call it. You see, signature, signature, gold. Matches the gold in this theme right here. See what I mean? Yeah, it, this is for my PC anyway. I'm not trying to sell none of my stuff, so I'm happy. This is a good purchase for me. Yeah, so y'all can, you know, go ahead, keep sleeping on CBCS while I get, you know, while I get them for cheap. Good. <laughs> All right. Now, Monstrous, okay. I'm not explaining this other than there's like, a, there's like a bunch of woke themes <laughs> or at least yeah because um our our protagonist is uh missing limbs <laughs> and so so she's handicapped female and I think if if I remember correctly as I was flipping through she might even have like uh, preference towards same sex, so she meets all the woke points in the in, in in what's going on today's comic book trend. Normally, it's not my thing, and it's not as I don't sympathize. It's just not my flavor. But the art was just too good. I mean, look at this. This is freaking gorgeous. I watched the whole video somewhere on YouTube of a lady making cookies based on the theme of monstrous like she was making cookies designed in the in a manner that's consistent the way Sana Takeda's art is all right well let's get to it guys okay let's I, I think I already showed you guys the back but just in case here's the back well you can see it image comics by image mm-hmm 
Image Comics. Yeah. In a way, I kind of feel bad for the dude that I bought this machine with. <laughs> but I'm, my, you know, my game. Cover for issue two. Look at this. You're going to notice that it's just going to be consistent across the board, folks. And it's such a treat. Issue three. And you know me. I keep my stuff crispy. Protected by Gerber. Gerber, my lights too. With Gerber fullbacks. Because it's uh, standard size. Not current. Standard. Alright. Standard size. See? Look at that. Issue 4. Look at how good that looks. Look at this. Consistent. I don't think this book is on a monthly schedule. Because it's like the year 2017 and it's already 2020 and they're only in issue 30. So I think they, you know, it's one of those, we understand that there'll be delays. And I don't mind either because it saves me a little bit of money <laughs> while simultaneously giving Sana the, enough time to continue her perfect freaking art. Look at this. The inks, the 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 lines, just everything about it is dope. Look at this unicorn issue six. I'm so very fortunate that I picked these up while people were sleeping on it. Because I have a feeling the art cannot be denied like this this is going to be just one of them books like based on 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 just the art alone will stand the test of time like uh let me think of books back in the day that have a similar kind of uh situation that just manages to transcend time i would say the you know some of the Sandman books, Bone Jeff Smith's Bone, for some reason that 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 never gets old. It doesn't seem dated, and I don't think this art looks like it could get dated. I think that this, yeah, no, I like many years from now it'll still look good. Like it don't look, it won't look like oh look how corny that looks. No, this shit looks. And you could tell, like, it looks like they use, she's, she's uh, obviously she's Japanese, so she's, you, she's inspired by the Japanese block print art, which I, I got so, a lot of those when I was living in Japan. Yeah, look, it looks great. It looks freaking good. Um, the setting takes place in some kind of, like, fantasy steampunk kind of situation with um, anamorphic animals and stuff not anamorphic that's not the right word I'll figure out what's the word <laughs> anthropomorphic there you go <laughs> tigers and stuff uh, <laughs> I'm sorry folks <laughs> anthropomorphic yes 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 that's a, <laughs> the correct term but yeah look at this this is supposed to be um, our main character is like bonded God thing, which makes her so OP when you know when they teamed up and stuff. Battle suit, it's so cute. It's got chibi too. <laughs> and not only this, oh man, I'm gonna sound like such a meathead or a pig, but both Marjorie Liu and Sana Takeda are babes. They they both very attractive women. I, yeah. If I could, you know, if, if I was a hardcore, well, I won't say hardcore, I am, I'm, I'm a big fan of them, but if I was like your typical simp nerd, I'd be simping for them. <laughs> but yeah, <I'm, laughs> in my younger days, when I had simp tendencies, yep, that's what I would have done, but yeah, those simp days are over. All right. Uh, let's see. 
That was issue nine and issue 10. Look at this. Look at the colors up in this bitch. It's so good. <clears throat> Guys, I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm speechless. This just, it's self-evident. And of course, art is subjective. There's a lot, you know how there's a lot of people who are jocking Peach Momoko. I don't jock her stuff, but some of her stuff is though. But I don't, but overall, not really. I'm more of her in, in like her Boom Studios and her Star Wars stuff. But the Marvel stuff, yeah. Except for maybe that one Strange Academy cover. It's what's up. But I, I'm, I'm not like head over heels like, I gotta have that. No. Just so happens to be the most expensive covers though. So, the prestige, you know what I'm saying? All right. Well, that's the first 10 arc. Now to go with the next 10. Look at this. Mermaids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at this. It's like I feel like when I pay for each issue that I'm getting the quality that I paid for. Like it feels like a $4 book, if not more. Kind of like that way I feel when I bought a top 10 issue, which y'all got to read, you know. I did a video on that. You guys got to check that out. Top 10, Alan Moore. See that? Look at this. All cover A's. I'm sure there's cover B's and homage covers. Like some, one of them was a, there was a Spawn uh, tribute. I believe it was issue ten. I don't have it, but one of these days I'll probably pick it up just so that we could, I could do a segment on um, homage covers or to pay homage covers. I've been using homage and homage homage wrong the whole time. Forgive me, folks. I'm not the most educated guy. I just got my masters, but I'm still an idiot for some reason. All right, this issue 14. Missing an arm. See what I'm saying? Handicap. No. Na, 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 na. Got like Naruto vibes right here. <laughs> Nine-tailed fox. What does the fox say? this issue 16 looking good with pinkish all over the place just showcasing guys just showcasing look at this the art see it's it, our main characters got kind of like that weird androgynous kind of you ever watch that uh Yellow Dancer from <laughs> Robotech. Back in the day, Macross, uh, the third the third one, I believe. I forgot what it was called, the third one is. But it's the one with the Dagon Invid in it. <laughs> yeah, it kind of reminds me of that. Like where a dude was posing as a girl, but really a dude. I, I you, Sometimes you really can't figure out. But I think it's intentional and... It doesn't matter. It still looks freaking great. Just the way this whole, you know, thing is. I wish I had, like, the mind of an artist. Like, the things that they see or imagine as they're just putting shit on gosh damn paper. Look at this. Color. Yeah. Ugh. I know I'm gushing over. But... Like I said, I'm just so impressed with the consistency of the art and the congruence. It's just 18 issues and it's still the looking, you know, similar-ish, congruent. Issue 19. See that? Best writer, best painter, best multimedia artist, winner of 
five twenty eighteen Eisner Awards. See, you have to be woke to win these awards. <laughs> I told you a lot of this is woke, and they're probably woke and all this other shit going on. Best cover artist, I can't deny that. These covers are ooh, consistently badass. I don't know if it's for teens necessarily, but I guess teens growing up so quickly these days and the themes I don't know it's got some Game of Thrones kind of shit going on best continuing series yeah I, 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 I guess I have to concur but yeah look at this look at this art is dope yeah well deserved well deserved team Sana and Marjorie mm-hmm mm-hmm Takeda and number 20 you can't even reach so fat the stack well <laughs> all right yeah you see it says right here again winner of 5 2018 Eisner Awards look at this looks great dragon in the back with tree eyes <laughs> this is this is so dope Guys, y'all got to pick this up on covers alone. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Pull, pull, pull. All right. Next up. Issue 21. Aw. Must be a backstory. Me versus my armor. <laughs> my symbiote armor. <laughs> oh, look at that. The cat and the axe. It's a win. And that same beast. Mm, in case you were wondering, guys, like any nerd. Yeah. <laughs> now did you. Ice cold because it's so hot in here. The thing. And this is a pretty dope cover, too. Look at this. Homie with his gold legs. Or Greaves, or I'm not sure. He probably got his legs all mechanical looking, at least from what I'm seeing here. Looks great. Sonic. I wish I had her style. I wish I could draw like her. I'd be drawing all kinds of things all day. End of the line. Hugo Award winner. And yes, you got to be woke to win that award these days, too. <laughs> they just be giving it to woke. Yeah. But again, the art and the thing is just so good. It deserves it on its own merit, even if it isn't woke. <laughs> but it's woke. <laughs> Have you guys seen a cover yet that was like kind of crappy? No, right? <laughs> Consistency! Issue 27. Like this. One of these days, I'm going to get probably the, the ultimate hardcover, the omnibus or something like that, whatever they call their ultimate hardcover version and we'll go through it together I mean there's all sorts of videos that already do that but not too many people do videos of me showing off my individual <laughs> issues protected in mylar and fullbacks my lights and fullbacks standard size by Gerber I'm just saying I know I'm not sponsored by these cats but how often I shout these fools out they should sponsor my ass just saying. Issue 28. See? Stabity. Ooh, ooh. A lot of stabbing going on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have the power! <laughs> Wait, no. Thunder, Thundercats. Oh! <laughs> So cute though. 
and his mechanical wings like a little cherub in John. And homegirl with her usher goggles in the back. <laughs> 2019 Hugo Award winner, bitches. You see that? Can't say it enough. Now, you knew that this issue came out around the pandemic because it says right here, our comeback will be bigger than our... setback. Yeah, your boy's got bad vision now. Can't see. Well, I mean, I can see it, but I can't read it clearly. So I had to focus, Danielson, focus. And last, and this was the most recent issue, came out last month. Issue 30. And yeah. The eye... Yeah, look, I mean, of course, this is probably the one cover that might be a little too simplistic, but theme-wise, yeah, you know what I mean? Look at all them eyes. Those eyes. Here we go. Like Illuminati shit right there. So, this is my monstrous showcase video and I hope to be able to do this again in another 30 issues and show show them off you know I mean and I think I and I'm pretty confident I will because again consistency congruency and excellence throughout you gotta love Asians they're overachievers <laughs> That's my peoples. <laughs> we overachieve, you know what I mean? But that's also why <laughs> we have high suicide rate because we put way too much pressure up on us, you know? But hey, pressure makes diamonds, you know what I mean? And these are diamonds, kids. Diamonds. So, yeah. Until the next video. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to surprise y'all with some more 90s treasures. <laughs> <laughs> treasures might not be the appropriate words, but they're treasures to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like before they were famous kind of stuff. You're going to love this. The next one. <laughs> I know I'm laughing, but... I promise you, when you guys see it, you'll understand. Especially people who know and read what you know, some of the stuff that people have been doing recently, and people like me who've been following these guys since I was like a young adult. Now I'm a over the hill guy, <laughs> still doing the same shit that I was doing when I was twenty. And you know what? I ain't gonna apologize for that shit. Comics is life. You know what I mean? It really is. Well, once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. I'm very thankful that you guys taken the time to uh, watch this, even though the video was long, a lot, little bit on the longer side. I did have 30 issues, plus, I don't know, I just... I could bask in, you know, looking at this stuff. And I know you could have researched it yourselves, but I'm glad that you were, you know, there to see my reaction to what I'm seeing cuz I'm just impressed. And again, y'all know me. I don't I'm, I I don't really do reviews yet cuz you know, I'm just showcasing. I if at some there's already a million reviewers out there. You want credibility, you want stories, there's other people. I'll I'll get to that at some point. But for now, I'm just showing off the goods, <laughs> showing what a what a dude like me, you know, is into, and you know my tastes are eclectic. So, all right, guys, again, thanks for joining me. Please hit like and subscribe, support your boy, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.